In today's video, me car spotting again, and this rando encounter turns up a very, very special Mitsubishi, the Starion 2000 GSR VR. R. That's right, coming at you, my man Dan, the Australian in Japan, bringing you them classic autos from across the sea, showing them to you and me. Cars that would never be seen again, rusted up, tell a friend. Cars that no one gives a damn, except the Wasabi Dan. And then it's seen again, and what do you know? Coming at you live in another Wasabi Cars video. Teaching at school and YouTube. Teaching at school and YouTube too. I am busting a gut to bring you everything automotive that I see, well, of what I like from here in Japan. And a massive thank you to Dylan Benton for that tune. It continues to amaze me. So as said, we've got the very rare and special Mitsubishi Starion 2000 GSR VR. And I've got to say, in instances like these, I kind of dread it because it's a car that there are people with high levels of fanaticism out there. But for me, it's, it's a hobby. The hobby is car spotting. I just love putting the big jigsaw together of cars in Japan. And like any good jigsaw that calls itself a jigsaw, you know, it's broad. It's not deep. So if you do have additional information or corrections, do drop them in the comments. They'll be greatly appreciated by me and others. Okay, the car that we're all here to see. It's at Fujitsubo Jidosha in Fukuoka City. They're restoring it, right? So it's been sitting there for a while. I can't imagine it's a customer's car because there'd be like uh, a deadline and stuff. But it's been sort of pottering around there in and out for a long, long, long time. There's no priority on it. But... Uh, I just got a shout out to the people at Fujisubo Jidosha in Fukuoka. I always wander along with my camera and they're always helpful. They answer my questions, they open bonnets. Like, they truly do go above and beyond. Much respect for them. Yeah, boy is tired, hey, but let's get into this. Now, there were indeed wide body starions and plenty of them and they had the 2.6 litre engine, but there was a special batch made and the stamping on the firewall, it said A. 184A and there were 50 built a very exclusive number turns out perhaps 73 were built which sounds not like 50 at all but what made it so special and there were a few things of course but the significant thing was perhaps the engine it was the single overhead cam G63B the Sirius Dash engine Dash of course refers to dual action super head and that sounds like quite the happy ending. Uh, 1,997 cc's and it produced 200 metric horsepower. Not bad. And about that head, uh, two inlet valves and one outlet, I believe. Now what's got me scratching my head is that the 2 litre seems to be more exclusive than the 2.6 litre. However, a basic stat that I'm looking at is the 2.6 had 175 metric horsepower, so clearly a level of tune different. So before moving on to a couple more highlights of this car, let's do a little audience participation. I ask a question, you talk to yourself. <laughs> Doesn't sound so uh, exciting initially, but let's give it a go. And it is, how many wide body starions do you think I have seen? Whether that's the 2 litre or the 2.6, how many wide body starions have I seen in Japan in the last 20 years? And a little additional information is about eight years hardcore car spotting going to car shows like a maniac. Have a guess how many. And the grand total is three besides this one. I know what you're thinking. What's the deal with the wheels? And are they the wheel deal? Or perhaps you're not thinking that. Uh, the wheels are NK Mesh. NK is how the Japanese pronounce it. In the rear, you got 7J and up front, 6.5J. Everyone, I hope you're enjoying. And if you are, please consider Patreon if you are willing and able to throw a few yen my way. Very much appreciated. Alternatively, there is also the YouTube channel membership. That is another great way to support the channel. Or if you particularly enjoy any of the videos, sharing it with other people is a great way to support Wasabi cars. Please consider. 195,000 Ks on the clock. Manual. Blue or trim looks pretty nice actually. White gauges. Cool. 
And so the final thing to say is that I'm building a project car. I really am, I promise. There's even video evidence that I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, but it's going to be over at the Ahiru Shokai channel. That's the Super Duck channel. Do consider subscribing and ringing that bell. Basically, it's this goose customizing a car. It doesn't even make sense. But go watch me learn. Learning's lots of fun. Wow, that sounded very cool of me. Everyone, I'll be back next Saturday with another one. Take it easy and see you later.